What's up guys? Welcome to Be A Metal Fabricator. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the shrinker stretcher. We're gonna be going over the basics because sometimes you need to create a flange. Kind of like the windshield frame around this Volkswagen bus right here. Or the pinch weld on this 1963 T-Bird. And especially around the wheel wells of these vehicles. We tend to get a lot of rust in these areas and the shrinker stretcher is a perfect tool for this kind of job. So let's jump into the video. Let's say we wanted to rebuild the corner flange on this bus windshield. So what I'd start with is a paper pattern and then I'd trace this shape right here. Now that we have our template with our curve that we want to make, what we're going to do is we're going to get our piece and hold it up to that curve. And we can see right here, it's sitting pretty straight and then this curve starts to veer off right here in this, this corner. You can see the corner right here. So this is going to be the spot that we want to start shrinking. We're just going to be doing a little bit of shrinking, a little bit at a time, till we get to this curve. We have our mark where we want to start shrinking. I'm just going to put this in and shrink just a little bit. Give it a little curve. Then we'll check it. So put it back where we had it. Now you can see that we're veering off over here now. It was starting to veer off here, now it's veering off over here. And that's where we're gonna shrink this one. Okay. So now our corner moved to right here. So now we're getting into this tighter curve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it there, right where it starts to veer off, and then I'm gonna put a couple of shrinks in here. I might go to like right over here somewhere and try to match that curve the best I can. But usually you do a couple of shrinks, bring it over, check it, do a couple of shrinks until you got that curvature that you want. So let's jump back on the shrinker. We have our mark. We'll slide that in. Do a little shrink, move it over. Little shrink, move it over. Little shrink. Probably go again just a little bit. Stick the shrinker in a little further. The piece into the shrinker a little more rather. Okay, let's check that. All right, line it up with the edge. All right, we're starting to get somewhere here. So that's looking pretty good. We need to shrink from here this way now. A little more. I'm gonna have to flip this over because it's gonna hit my stretcher. Shoot there, shoot there. We're looking pretty good. We're getting into the last part of this curve right here before we start coming back straight. So I'm gonna shrink just a little bit in this area, this area right here, and we should be pretty good. Okay, so that's it right there. Let's go ahead and hold this up against the corner of the bus right here on the windshield and see how close we are. I put some tape on here just to protect the paint, but it's looking pretty close. Now for future reference, you don't always want to trace the flange because it could be a little off compared to the curve of the inside of the windshield frame or the fender or whatever you're working on. So. The best spot to actually pattern it would be right in this section. But this one worked out pretty good. It's pretty close. The problem we're having though, is this windshield starts to curve around this way, and this part that we made is sticking straight out. So the way that we would fix that is to stretch along the opposite edge on this side 
to curve it back this way. So I'm going to start as close to the inside corner as I could possibly get with these with this stretcher and give it a little stretch. If you stretch too much, you'll end up ripping the sheet metal. The stretcher works really well, so you just need a little bit of pressure a little bit at a time. Now we've curved it back this way just a little bit. Let's check it. Now you can see it's sitting on there nice and flush from this side to the bottom of the windshield frame right here and it's sitting flush against this flange on the other side. Sometimes it's a lot of back and forth from the shrinker to the stretcher, but a little bit of practice and you'll get the hang of it. You'll be creating flanges and doing a ton of other stuff with the shrinker stretcher in no time. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, we'll see you later.